Oh yeah, what's up everybody? Samuel J. Comer here. It's been a couple days since the Houston Baptist University incident, and I just want to say once again, thank you to all the students. I love you guys. I really appreciate everybody's support and uh, reposting of the video and all the nice comments. It means a lot that you guys have my back. Um, I sincerely appreciate it. And also a big shout out to the Houston Chron Chronicle for writing a great uh, article. Um, both the link to the video uh, that I made and the article are in the description below. If you don't know the full story, check those out and then come back. And in the article, um, they uh, interviewed the vice president of HBU and he had a couple things to say about how I didn't uphold my end of the agreement and the standards of what they expected, uh, which make absolutely no sense because uh, he wasn't at the show, I never met him, uh, so he didn't see what happened, so what he should have done was just apologized, because that's what a real man would have done, stepped up and apologized for what happened, because it was wrong, as simple as that. It's like my uh, friend and fellow comedian Steve Hofsetter uh, put perfectly, the educator uh, prevented the students from being educated. And not that my answer would have been this amazing, thought-provoking answer. I'm a stand-up comedian. Of course, it's going to be silly and fun and whatever. But the point is that she told a student that he couldn't ask specific questions. Students that pay money to go to your campus to learn uh, and grow. And you're telling them they can ask these questions, but they can't ask these questions. That's crazy. Ask all questions. Knowledge is power. They're trying to learn different things. And you stop that because of your own insecurities. And it's unfortunate. And uh, to everybody else, I'll be at um, University of Houston on September 25th. So I'll be there with my friend Drew Lynch. We're going to do a Q&A. And then, uh, next week, I'm going to call and ask if the HBU students can attend and ask whatever questions they want that they're not allowed to ask on their own campus that they pay money to go and learn. And also, as far as HBU is concerned, uh, I'm going to be donating $100 to your sexual education program. And if you don't have one, consider this a Kickstarter. Uh, and hopefully, uh, one day my goal is to have a statue in front of that building of myself. Um, preferably one that twitches. And it'll look like I'm one of the band member animatronics uh, from Chuck E. Cheese, which will be really cool. And uh, also I'll be donating 100 condoms uh, with my face on it. That's not a joke. They're being made right now. Uh, and to the student who asked what it's like to have sex with Tourette's uh, for the moment that three of you have been waiting for, here's the clip. Check it out. Enjoy. Love you guys. Thank you. The question was uh, how sex with Tourette's, which is a hard question to answer because I've never had sex without Tourette's. <laughs> So I don't really have anything to compare it to. <laughs> I've never been about to have sex and been like, Tourette, stay outside. <laughs> it's me and the lady time. Here's how it is, okay? When I'm having sex, I'm all over the place. I'm hitting the lamp, the futon, she's in the kitchen, I'm killing it, yeah. Sweat. When I climaxed, I found the cure. That was it, okay? I was all over and I was like, oh, shoot. Where'd my Twitch go? <laughs> Has anybody seen it? Here's the best part. When you dudes are having sex, you are focused. You're making that uncomfortable eye contact. <laughs> I don't know why I think all of you do it like T-Rex. <laughs> When you dudes are having sex, you focused. Everybody in this room will notice this for the rest of time. It's one of those beautiful, amazing things in life that everybody's gonna notice forever. When all you dudes are having sex, you are so focused. <laughs> and then when all of you gentlemen climax, you guys. <laughs> You guys get Tourette's. Oh. <laughs> Is this Tourette's? It's the best syndrome ever. Some of you guys are gonna use that after the show tonight. Uh, yo, girl, you want a Tourette's tonight or what are we doing? 
we dress it up or what do we do? I almost got arrested for that joke. That's insanity. That would be horrible if I went to prison for that joke. I'd be like, yo, what are you in jail for? They'd be like, murder. What are you in jail for? I'd be like, silly jokes. Just silly ass jokes.